Do you need to collect payment information without charging them on the form submission? Let me show you how. Hey, job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm already in one of my forms. So for this first example, we're going to utilize PayPal personal. So over on the left hand side, I'm going to choose add form element and we're already in the payment gateway. So let's choose PayPal personal. And we can see it automatically opened up that standard integration over on the right hand side. So for example, if it didn't, let's go ahead and click out. All we need to do is choose that payment element. Then we're going to click on payment settings and we get to that integration over on the right hand side. So this example is going to be good for PayPal personal, PayPal pro, authorized.net, Braintree, eWay, and Square. Over on the right hand side, we can see right down here underneath additional gateway settings. If for some reason it has not expanded, all we need to do is just click on that arrow to expand it. Right down here, we have authorization only. So if we would like to authorize the purchase before sending it through, we wanna make sure to turn that over to yes. But let's say you want to use PayPal business. Let's go ahead and get rid of this PayPal personal. Then over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose PayPal business. Then over on the right-hand side, we have that additional gateway settings again. And if we scroll down just a little bit right here at the top, it says, charge customer later and then once you've toggled it on make sure you scroll down to the very bottom to choose continue or save so that way those settings get saved and lastly let's go ahead and give stripe a try because it's a little bit different i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the paypal business and over on the left hand side let's go ahead and choose stripe then over on the right hand side same thing we're going to choose that additional gateway settings and then if we scroll down, we're going to see charge customer immediately. So if we do not want to charge them immediately, we're going to go ahead and toggle that off and then continue and we will be good to go. But it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about charging customers later, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video, you got some value, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.